Hello, my name is Reagan Day from Troop 777, and my family and I are camping in Flagstaff, Arizona. However, it's been pretty dry here. There haven't been much rain. And if you didn't know, dry, dry trees and fire don't mix very well. Now, since we can't have any real campfires, I'm going to be making one out of food. And Duncan over here is going to be helping me. First off, we have some safety rules. Uh, you have to make sure that your hair is tied back so that it doesn't catch on fire. That would be bad. Same, same thing goes for baggy clothes. Baggy clothes. We'll also need a fire watcher. Just, this is just in case the fire starts to grow out of control and we need an adult to help put it out. Alright. First things first, with your real campfire, you'd need to clear the area of, you know, pine needles and leaves and rocks and overhanging branches. Um, so my paper towel is going to represent me clearing the area. Before we even start building our campfire, you need water, just to make sure that it doesn't, you, you know, know. in case stuff catches on fire. Exactly. All right, first we're going to build our circle of safety. I'm going to be using genuines for this because they look like rocks. All right, second, we're going to need um, some, a foundation. For my foundation, I'm going to be using these three pretzel sticks. All right, I'm going to build a little A-frame uh, foundation. You know, a little base for the start of my fire. All right, next we're going to need some tinder, which I'm going to use these really long Cheetos. I'm just going to sprinkle these everywhere. Alright. Next, we're going to need some kindling. For the kindling, I'm going to be using smaller puzzle sticks. Hold on. I'm going to need some more tinder. A.K.A. Cheetos. Alright, here we go. Right, and now let's put on our kindling. Uh oh. Runaway Cheeto. Okay. Next, we're going to need some fuel. These chocolate chips are going to represent our coal, our fuel. Uh, let's just put these everywhere. We have lost a piece of coal to the ground. All right, and finally, we are going to get our fire. But if you were building a real campfire and you were using a match, then you would need to strike the match away from yourself, not towards yourself. Again, so you don't catch yourself on fire. So this is going to represent our fire. Or our flame. <clears throat> All right, now you can eat your glorious candy campfire. <laughs>